Hey guys, we are in Adventure with Nick and Rachel and we bring you the best places to hike and explore in the southeast and more. So, if you're into that kind of thing, make sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell because we bring you weekly videos just like this. Today we are exploring Dossett Trails Nature Center right outside of Indian Springs State Park in Middle Georgia. And we're going to give you a tour and show you what all it has to offer. So let's get going. So in the summertime, I usually notice there's this really big, big field right when you um, turn in here and it's overflow parking at the top of it. And I always notice these from a distance and I've never walked over here and so I wanted to walk over here and see what it was. And it looks like it's a lily pad pond, which is really cool. Look at this really cool, like, I don't know if you'd call it a flower. Some kind of, like a seed pot, I guess. Got these little. What is that, like, it's like a disorder people have, like a fear, like something, you know what I'm talking about, where people have fear of, like, holes with things in the holes? It's like the bot flies. Yeah, the bot fly <laughs> fear, <laughs> whatever. Bot That's flies. what it looks like. It looks like. If you have that fear, then you would be scared to death of that flower. Because <laughs> it's got like little bitty things inside of it. I don't know, but those flowers those are beautiful. Those flowers right there are gorgeous. That's where we parked way over there. So, as you can tell, it's kind of far off. And that's why we thought this was just like a bunch of elephant ears. So, if you see this little area growing up, when you pull in, definitely come check it out. Because this was a, a nice little surprise. Didn't have any clue. And then this is a, like a tree identification trail or part of it. Um, so they have a little, these little posts every couple of feet. Like this is 15 um, and this is a red mulberry tree. Red and mulberry. it'll grow 50 to 60 feet in height um, in hardwood forest. Its fruit is edible, sweet and juicy, enjoyed by gray squirrels, wild turkeys and many songbirds. And right beside it, we have a sweet gum tree. This is a sweet gum tree. Oh my gosh, man, the frogs are huge. That's a sweet gum tree ball. They have these like weird looking. Me and my brother were mean, so we used to pelt these at each other when we were kids. Especially when they're they fall off and they get brown and hard. Yeah. grasses and plants native to Georgia. Oh really? Mm -hmm. well, that's cool. So everything you find here will you can find growing out in the wild? No, they have little um, little signs that tell you what it is and like these are like all like natural pollinators for our bees here in Georgia. So we talked about all these plants being native and they're pollinators. Look at all of these little bees just all over this mountain mint. Look at that. That's nuts. Mm -hmm. They're not bothering anybody. You can get right up near them, they ain't even worried about you. I just getting their food. I ain't never heard of mountain mint. Me neither. I wonder if it tastes like mint. Can't smell or taste. <laughs> yeah, we're getting over getting side over effects COVID. of COVID and now we're dealing with all the repercussions of it, so that sucks, but eh. But don't kill you, right? <laughs> <laughs> so, Dawson Trails was started in 1977 um, by two gentlemen, uh, Hampton Daughtry and David Settle. And so they took the Daw from Daughtry and the Set from Settle and created Dawson. So, Dawson Trails Nature Center. So, Dawson Trails actually started as just a self guided trail that looped around. Um, they have a lake, it looped around the lake. And um, later on, they started adding orphaned or injured um, or nuisance animals to the park um, for rehabilitation. And that created the Animal Trail, which is one third of a mile, and it's near the visitor center. Um, and it's good for strollers, uh, wheelchairs. It's uh, highly accessible, and you get to see all these native animals of Georgia. Um, that aren't able to be released back into nature and so they take care of them here. So that's where we're headed is to the animal trail. They've been babies for 15 years. Yeah, they really have. <laughs> what do we got? 
some turtles. Alright. They're like venomous and not Look at that. Copperhead. That's fake. Yeah, they put a fake coral snake in there. Red on yellow. Got an Eastern King snake. That looks cool. And we have a timber rattler. Alright, so we are entering the animal trail. And right in front of us is General Beauregard Lee, the um, groundhog who tells us the weather each year in Georgia. He tells us when we're going to get a spring. Yeah. I have never seen him out. Me neither. But they built in this awesome little white house. <laughs> Weather. He's got holes like dug all in there, little tunnels. So in this exhibit, they've got gopher tortoises, and then they have made this new little one in here with eastern box turtles. And it looks like they're trying to escape in the corner. There's one standing guard and one digging. So yeah, Steve McQueen would be proud. The Great Escape. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's funny how one's just like chilling there. He's just waiting, letting the other one do all the work. So I just found out, cool fact, that the gopher tortoise is Georgia's state reptile. I did not know that. I didn't know we had a state reptile. <laughs> Me neither. That's pretty cool. That little guy's our state one. That's cool. Interesting. So behind me is a great horned owl and me and Nick actually learned something really crazy about them earlier today um, but they absolutely hate eagles and so they will kill eagles and like tear them to shreds and hawks and hawks they were oh and they were releasing um, some falcons or was it hawks it was hawks or falcons but hawks they had falcons. to check the population of, of great the, horned owls yeah, in the area because they would just like because they would them. kill them for fun because the owls can hunt at night and they just ambush them in their nest and, and they'll like attack silent. them out in the middle of the day yeah. so if you want to see some cool footage watch a great great horned owl just like attack an eagle or a hawk is crazy I mean, things are like that big and eagles are like massive it's just crazy thinking that these things can kill an eagle so if you come here during the week, there's not as near as many people here. Um, but other than the animal trail, there's some more owls, some barn owls. Um, but they also have like biking trails, hiking trails, um, horse riding trails. Um, that, so they have tons of trails that you can come and walk on. This area, you're not allowed to have pets in, um, but on like the hiking trails, you can bring pets. So we're right next to the screech owls. Um, beyond me is the coyotes and the otters and um, we didn't show you all the animals that they have here just because it's so busy um, but if you want to check them out you should definitely come and check them out it's really cool they've got bears little black bears and um, just all kinds of really cool animals but right now we are going to walk back here to the barnyard area and show you guys what that looks like so this is a syrup kettle um, a really cool thing that they do here the Saturday before Thanksgiving is the cane syrup festival and they make their own cane syrup. It's really cool. And then in April, they do the bluebirds and bluegrass festival. That's really fun to come to. And then October, they do movies under the stars. So they have a lot of stuff that they do throughout the year, which is really cool. I really love coming to the bluebirds and bluegrass festival. People set up little, um, like their little shops and stuff to sell things. They've got people making blacksmith and stuff and they've got um, playing bluegrass music it's just really fun it's a fun time so there's some sheep back there those are black faced sheep um, and since I work for 4-H I have a bunch of livestock kids that show animals and some of them show uh, sheep and so next week I actually have to go out and tag their sheep for them so they can show them in the livestock shows where you tag them on their ears mm -hmm. they've got Right between their veins, right there, you just. So you're like them. a cowboy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you don't wrangle them up either. Like you don't wrangle them up and tie them. Mm -hmm. You gotta straddle them and hold them and clip. <laughs> I would love to see you do that. I still haven't ever seen her do that before. Mm -hmm. This is only like. I just can't imagine her doing it. It's my funny. second time doing it. Not my second animal, but my second time as a 4-H agent doing it. I don't necessarily like it, but it's part of the job. <laughs> 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 
Alright guys, so that was just a brief glimpse of Dawson Trails Nature Center. There's so much here to offer. It's a really great place to bring your family. Come for a picnic, come for the day, explore. They've got the animal trail, the barnyard, and they've got miles and miles of hiking trails. One really good trail that I like is from Dawson Trails to Indian Springs State Park. It's a good day hike trail around seven miles. But they also have bicycle trails, um, horse trails, uh, you can come and reserve campsites if you have a group like a church group or Boy Scouts or 4-H. Um, but this place is amazing. I'm so glad we have it here in Georgia. It's a really great educational place and a really great place to explore nature. And you should definitely come and check it out. Thank you guys for joining us. Make sure to hit that subscribe button and notification bell so you don't miss out on anything. We look forward to seeing you on our next adventure.